Last week, I uploaded a video titled Minecraft Player Tracy Music Case File Number 1. Unfortunately, it was reported by Tracy Music because I made the decision of leaking, leaking their face. And they even threatened to call in a lawyer on me. I just want you all to know I knew this was going to happen. I knew what the outcome would be. Most importantly, I knew how Tracy would react. I knew what I was getting myself into. I talked to YouTube, we settled on them letting me take the video down, and in simple terms, I'm untouched. They didn't give me any strikes, no community guideline strikes, no copyright strikes. They understood my intentions, I got my word out, and my mission was still accomplished without me facing any problems with YouTube's policy or the law. So yeah. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is more of a roleplay MC related video, more specifically in Justice Craft. There will be no references to Marvel MC, although I haven't posted a video about that server since November. So if you like an update on that server, I'll, I'll leave a suggestion at the top right corner of this video. For those who don't know, before the server has joined and was joined to the network, it was entitled DCMU. And it was purchased for the owner of MMU, Marvel Minecraft Universe. Or Minecraft Marvel Universe, one of those two. Back then, he was referred to as Charles due to his role, Charles Xavier. But as of today, he goes by Frontus. MMU was a Marvel server that didn't end well. Before it shut down, their head developer purchased a server to help them expand their brand. Since that DCMU server is no longer known as that, it's no question that didn't pan out well, but I won't get into that. Resulting in the shutdown of both MMU and DCMU, the head developer of MMU officially departed from her duties and DCMU reestablished itself when it joined Roleplay MC as Injustice Graph. Since it was no longer licensed to Charles under that developer's permission, she stood back up as owner and decided to revamp the server. This developer, she's an early college student, she had a personal life going through things, etc. College, plus being a developer, and unfortunate events going on, it's all a bit much. So I made it my goal to buy the server from her to carry off her shoulders. I announced to everyone that the server I already own would have a sale to contribute toward the agreed price. The value of the server at the time of production was at approximately uh, $250, but since she and I were very closely acquainted, uh, we settled on $200. Shoutouts to TripleFet, Radiant Radish, and KFC underscore Chickens. Because of them, we achieved that goal pretty fast, and as a result, I had the money to purchase Angel Scrap around July of 2018, and I officially took over uh, on July 25th. As promised, after buying the server, I started managing several new updates. Unfortunately, within the next month, on August on August 26th, I had to make a post announcing what happens next in order to prevent the shadow that was going to eventually that the server was going to eventually become here's what I stated on that post this unexpected post is to explain the current situation yes several updates were in production and only one of them came to the server without a problem another one of those updates came as a big issue which relied on something else being on the server information was awaited in order to start on some updates on August 16th I encountered once more of a holdup, and this time it was beyond my control. As of now, the only developer left is unavailable for an extended period of time. There is no there is no soon return day expectancy. So to avoid the server collecting dust due to several big problems, I have to come up with a decision. And Justice Craft is temporarily closing, although. It has had a much better run than before. The issue here is that we aren't able to continue fixing 
the unfair balances between characters while we fix bugs and make additions. In summary, uh, in summary, uh, the issue was that we were running low on a development team. At the same time, discover glitches were piling up along with other complaints. This would have eventually outnumbered the growth of the server. And Discraft was a hop in server, always booming. We were always competitive with all the players that were online. We didn't even have to host events to get good numbers on. For such a distinct RP server, it did really well. But I didn't want it to have a big downfall just because of my inability to maintain it without being unattentive to Marvel MC. So I did what I had to do for the time being until I could figure it all out. Because one thing I won't do is be responsible for a crash and burn server. So that was why Angel Scrap made such a big, such a huge appearance last year, and then suddenly went down after three months of being open. At least the plug was pulled as it was a success, so there's always that. Anyways, I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye. Furthermore, that adaptation of the server is now for sale. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want the custom spawn, plugins, leaderboard system, custom commands, pre-made cosmetics, etc. I don't want it all to go to, go to waste. So, if anyone's interested in continuing it, a link, a link will be in the description for complete details, including where you can contact me to settle on a price. Thank you.